Hey guys, Alexi here with another Q&A session. Um, now the topic for this session is email marketing. We have a question that uh, people ask us quite a fair bit. Is email marketing you know, still worth doing in 2020? Well, 100%. Um, I find that uh, really the value of any business is in the database. So your email database is, is, is quite a valuable asset of any business. Uh, I think um, a lot of people underestimate email marketing purely because they probably get a lot of, uh, a lot of spam coming through and uh, potentially they think, well, who is reading that? Uh, I, I certainly don't and it's not worth going through it. But look, if you, um, if you have people subscribing specific to your um, website, uh, or to the content that you're promoting on the website, let's say like a product special or potentially keeping people up to uh, date with news and updates around what you do. Um, just monitor the open rates and the click rates of the actual emails and you'll find that uh, most of the time you'll get you know, 20 to 30% open rate and probably you know, close to 10% click through rate, which is, which is really quite high for email marketing. Now, what's good about email marketing, it's, it's personal. And people have the um, opportunity to opt out at any time. People can unsubscribe. Uh, we find that email marketing itself is a great way to uh, trigger an audience uh, or potentially start the conversation. And uh, if you use UTM tracking as a way to uh, track everything through your Google Analytics, you can see how the path crossover. Um, so, for example, someone may come through, um, you know, organic uh, side of things, and then ba basically. Um, Put their name and email into an opt-in on your website and become a part of your email list and then from there uh, when you send out an email they will uh, come back to the website check things out and then end up purchasing through something like facebook or a paid ad so the number of interaction that it takes uh, you know is obviously very different for every single website and every single industry in general but uh, what you will find is um, it, you need to kick off the uh, the actual sequence yourself. And if you've got some control over that, that's great. Now, you can either do it through social media, uh, which is quite limited because a lot of the time, every time you, um, well, every time you post something on Facebook, for instance, you will only get about 3 to 5% organic engagement rate. So a lot of the time, you won't get uh, everyone to see the whole message. With email marketing, well, everyone who opens your email will, will see it. So the open rate's a lot higher. I... Um, yeah, I still, I still find that um, email marketing is highly uh, underrated and a lot of the time people have got email databases that I've never done anything with. If you have a look at the inquiries that you get, uh, the orders that you've made in the past or potentially you know, invoices that you've sent out to people, um, easiest database to always work with are the people that you have done business with in the past. So please look at that um, with a bit more seriousness and potentially evaluate uh, what the database is looking like because uh, I think that's uh, really an easy 10% that you can add to your monthly revenue if you play your cards right. Anyway, guys, if you've got any issues about uh, you know, the tools to use or if you've got any questions about email marketing in general, please comment below or shoot me an email.